Hey guys, another short video, and I think we have to talk about a bit of an issue in ACC, which revolves around the steer ratio. Um, first, I want to make you understand what the steer ratio does, and therefore we also want to look what the other games do. So if, for example, you're going to off factor 2, you go to the setup screen and then you have the setting, that affects the steering sensitivity or the steering range or steering angle and you just set it up and down um, and you can see that what you're effectively changing or what you're directly changing is the amount the steering wheel can rotate stop to stop um, and in the brackets you see kind of the ratio setting that you also know from ACC. What does not change in our factor 2 is how much the tire actually rotates, right? So no matter what you set there, the tire will always go from 20 degree to minus 20 degree on the other side, but it's not going to um, change those maximums, right? It only changes how much you need to turn the steering wheel to get to that maximum point, but how much the car can effectively steer is unchanged. Now, if we go to Automobilista, for example, you get that a little differently. Go to the setup screen again, and you can see here in the uh, Mercedes G3, um, you can change how much the tire rotates as a maximum, right? And you can go from 14 degree, I think, what is that is the minimum. So the tire does don't, don't, don't really point or don't really change direction much, right? So it's not that sensitive. And you can go up to 28 degrees where it is a bit more sensitive, but Either way, you're changing something uh, directly there. You're changing in Automobilista, you're changing the tire, how much it can rotate. And in Alphacta 2, you're changing the steering wheel, how much it can rotate, it, uh, rotate but the tires actually remain unchanged. And now we want to go to ACC, where things work a little differently. I've just been doing a uh, preparing a coaching the other day. So I took the Audi uh, aggressive preset and we go to the mechanical group page where we'll find the steer ratio. Now we can set it from 12 to 18, which is the same thing that we see in the brackets there in R factor 2. But while in R factor 2, we are not changing how much the tire is actually rotating, in ACC we do. So let us have a look at that. Um, let's turn off all the overlays to not have any distractions. Go to the F7 free camera, go outside the car, uh, have a close look on the tire. And then we are going to just crank the wheel all the way to the right. The Audi, the Audi has 720 degrees on the steering wheel lock to lock. And we can't change that, right? The virtual steering wheel inside the car will always go 720 from lock to lock or 360 degrees in one direction, or a full turn to turn fully. That now results in the maximum here. We can change that um, of, must be something like 20 degree or so, hard to measure. And look what happens when we go back to the garage. I'll just leave the steering wheel on, on full range here. Um, go back to the setups page, and now we change the steer ratio to the minimum. Bit loading, F7 camera again, go outside the car, go above the wheel arch. And I think now we're from the exact same positions, more or less, you can see the tire turns a lot more now with the same 360 degree on the steering wheel. That is the same that's happening in an Automobilista, but instead in op Automobilista, we're directly changing how much the tire can actually rotate. In our factor, again, we're changing the steering wheel, but we are unable to change how much the tire actually rotates. And usually on race cars, I talk to some people, um, we actually usually don't touch the, the tire there because there are hard limits. And if we look really closely here, you can see the tire is actually clipping into the wheel arch there. And I think it's happening, the same thing is happening in the front. It's a bit of shadow, but you can see it is disappearing in the wheel arch. It probably does so on low steering angles already. So there's a bit of a model issue probably as well. But the main thing is, or the point here is, I do think in ACC we are getting unrealistic amounts of tire lock that we can have. 
Um, so it would be really interesting. Put that in the comments. If you test other cars with the lowest steer ratio, how much the front tires actually are able to rotate. And I suspect on a few cars we'll get pretty drastic results that do not really resemble what real racing cars do. Because if we, and there's a couple more side effects. So let's do some driving, go to the setup again, and I'll show you the impacts that is going to have. And there are two layers to that. Uh, the first thing is, of course, uh, the higher steer ratio makes the steering less sensitive as it should. We we'll turn off the T traction control here because we can generally do that in the Audi, but with very high steer ratio, it is rather sensitive and tricky to control. So let's accelerate a bit. And now you can see I'm changing or I'm turning on the steering wheel. The car responds a bit, but not too much, right? So the car is not sensitive, not very responsive. And also, if we go through the corner here, and now we're flicking in maximum steer lock. Just we're gonna look at that on the replay. How much we have available here? We're gonna do the same thing here, uh, and then try to do a bit of drifting here in turn three and four. I'll need maximum lock, and the tire still spins, which is something you will typically see on a race car because you simply do not have enough range in the tire to catch large drift angles, okay? And it would be really difficult to do so. Now, let's do the whole same procedure with the high steer, uh, sorry, with a low steer ratio with the sensitive steering. So, same thing again lowest steer ratio. Now we know that tires have much more lock available while on the steering wheel, everything is the same, just more sensitive now. TC off as well. Let's go through the last corner and then do just the same procedure like we did before for the gear and do a bit of acceleration, do a bit of side by side. And I'm going my same speed on the steering wheel, but the car is much more aggressive now because of course, with the same degrees on my steering wheel, I have much more degree on the tire. So of course that has an effect. And now full lock here. You can see how much that has become now in the replay afterwards. And we're gonna do the same thing here. And we're gonna watch that in the replay afterwards. And we're gonna do the two drifts or one. Let's see how far we get, but now it is much easier because I have much more steering available now, right? I mean, it's still nervous, but I can always counter steer enough so the front tires point in very wild directions that you wouldn't normally see on a race car and therefore control slides that I should normally be able to. Right? I can always stop the oversteer because the front tires can give in so much that the car effectively keeps going sideways um, and I'm fairly sure we are having steering angle levels on tire level here that are unrealistically high. Let's go quickly to the replay. Uh, here's the end. We want to go back, what, a minute or so to the first attempt, which should be here, right? I just want to see that from the outside. I think we spun here initially. Ah, that is already the second attempt. So we're going back a little to the actual first attempt. Sorry, guys. We'll have you covered in a second here. Did I not spin? I've recorded the video a third time now. <laughs> So we're going on tire level. That's the maximum steer lock. And that is the maximum steer lock in the other direction. Just trying to give you an impression here. How much we have available and how quickly the tire is, is changing direction. And we can't catch that because now we're full lock and that was not enough to catch the car. So let's move forward a bit to the high steer ratio. And now here on the straight, you'll already be able to see how quickly the tire changes direction, how nervous the car is. Let's move forward to turn one. 
so you can see the maximum lock. The same in turn two into the other direction. So now that already looks a bit more, but I think we're seeing it even better when we go through the left corner here. That looks like an unhealthy amount of, of tire lock right there, does it not? Um, and now comes the situation where we were dying before, but now we can count the steer so much so quickly that it's actually quite possible to control that slide, which I think would not be possible in real life because we do not have as much tire lock available. As far as realism is concerned, um, the speed of steering, that effect that we get, that is realistic. But the problem that we get is we, in ACC, how the whole thing works is that we get steering angles on tire level that are too big to be considered realistic. I think there is an actual issue here that um, has an impact on what you can do in the game. I think for actual racing situations, it's not going to matter because in normal, when you're cornering normally, when you're trying to do fast laps, it is not really an issue of how far you can turn the steering wheel because you're steering rather little. It's not like steering more is going to bring us faster through the corner. So in that regard, in terms of peak lap times or so, uh, it's not an issue. Fast steering can be something you want, especially with heavy cars or sluggish cars. You want to speed up the steering to get some response out of the car. Uh, that is all fine. And on other cars that are already very responsive, like the Ferrari or the Ferrari or the Porsche, you might want to put the steer ratio a bit higher because you want a slower steering to take some response out of the car at the cost of the maximum counter steer angle that you have available. But that's a unique ACC problem. Um, so it's like only in the extreme situations where this can become an issue and where we can do drifting that is not actually realistic, where we may might be able to save driving situations that you wouldn't otherwise be able to save in real life simply because you're more limited in terms of how far the tire can counter steer. Um, but yeah, there still seems to be some issue with how it is um, modeled, how the relationship is built from the degrees of steering, through the steer ratio to the tire level. And I think the correct way how ACC should do it is to actually have the either do it like Automobilista where we adjust the lock of the tire or do it like R Factor 2 where we adjust the lock of the steering wheel. But the way ACC is doing it where it only adjusts the ratio but does not adjust the steering wheel but in fact allows unrealistic values on the tire here there's an issue. So leave it in the comments, check the other cars and how far you can take it there. Um, and then if you like that video, if it gave you some insight, hit the like button and maybe subscribe for another video. And then we'll see you very soon.